What's up? Ah, what's up? It's not a good intro. Let's do Holly. How to do? Or let's do bonjour. Let's do ça va. Let's do vamos. Yes, let's do vamos. Let's go into the video, guys. All right. If you're watching a you, if you here, you're on the art show. Reminder, please subscribe. There's a new art series episodes. That's what I'm gonna call it now. I'm gonna create a playlist of episodes, and you can just go and watch different episodes of different painting series. So it's well organized. So I'm about to organize my playlist. That's what I'm doing. Actually, right now as I record this, but for this painting, I really didn't know what to talk about. But it's really in detail, and you know, my painting mostly are to do with life in general. Like most things I paint, but this one. This one is more like how we confuse in life and how life is mostly based on time. How we don't pay attention to time. We always ignore time. And if you thought about something that you did four years ago and you realize like it's four years, this past you like, damn, what have I done in those time? Was it even worth it? Or did I spend my time behind something that didn't pay off? So we get confused with that with time. And this painting is me capturing time. Capturing that the moment you step out your door, right now the door is closed. It's like a suicide. I know I'm going deep right now, but Back to time, when you, the moment you in your house, you're secure, you can do whatever you want to do with your time. But the moment you step out, your time is being counted. And whatever you do with your time, it got to make a point. It's, it got to mean something. So when I was painting this, it's like, not only if you can stop time, you may be able to do too much and get away with it. Do you get what I'm saying? If you don't get what I'm saying, this is what I'm saying. Is This is what I'm saying. I'm saying you have time to do whatever. But a, a lot of time we spend time doing things that we don't want to do. We spend time doing things. I, right, right now you can just quit your job and do whatever. And live life. Hang out with a homeless man. And start stressing about everything. In that time you can enjoy your life. You can visit Paris. You can visit anywhere, Africa. But the moment you step out your door, it's back to that. You are in time. So what are you making? What are you doing with your time when you work out your door? Are you being judged? Are you just going returning to a job and you just paying the bills? Because something that you try you have to remember in life is when you was born, you was born with nothing. You didn't have a million dollars. You didn't have anything. I mean, maybe some people was born with with worth. With, let me refresh that. With worth. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. You know I have an accent being from Africa, but worth. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> but some people, they are born with worth and like, if you are down a Trump, your dad give you a million dollars at a really long, young age. But remember, you have nothing. Literally, if you die, you have nothing. You came with nothing. You're going to leave with nothing. So whatever you do with your time, it has to be important. If it's, if it's you just chasing over a dream car, is that car worth your time? Or is Using your time to see things that you couldn't see or investing in people that you care about or forming new bonds or leaving the country or just do whatever. If, if doing that is your time, then make sure that time is worth it. So in time, and in this painting, time stop. It's nothing moving. It's not a person time just completely stops and the time is nine
34. Actually, the time is not 34. I'm not trying to be all deep on you, but I want to keep doing more painting series. Uh, what I talk about life and what I paint, what I think about life. But this is the part one of this video. And when I was drawing this, the traditional side of this painting, when I was drawing this, what I was thinking about is, why am I doing this right now? I could be doing so much else. I could be, uh, I could be walking, doing a marathon. I could be in Asia. I could just leave my life and do whatever and stop stressing, stressing about how am I going to get money? How am I going to get rich? How am I going to obtain worth? How am I going to be the next billionaire? Or how am I going to do this? I could do, I could forget about them things and focus on my time. But when I realized it, I was focusing on my time. I was doing what I wanted to do. I was drawing. And if you know me, I love doing it. When I spent my time doing art, I know when I leave today off earth, I'm leaving back arts. I'm leaving back something because I came with nothing. And those something going to mean something to people. Those art can mean a million words. My art, some people will buy my work just because they think the idea behind my work, that the reason I painted it is more deep than anything that they have experienced. And they can look at my work and be like, time. For example, this painting is time. If you were to get this painting, a print of it, and you put it like in your room or whatever you think you can look at, and it can be a reminder to when I leave today, am I doing what I want to do? Is what I'm doing have become a life and I cannot change it? Because notice, you would dream big dreams and if God help you, if God bless you and that dream come through, that dream could just turn into your daily life. You could keep doing that thing over and over. And you realize seven years, you just wasted time doing that same thing. Imagine if I'm an artist, I if a lot of people visit my channel, and that's just a scenario. And I love doing it and I keep doing art. I keep painting, painting, painting. I'm just doing that over and over and I'm realizing I could be doing something else because I don't have a lot of time. I can do something else it's with the exception. I love art, but I can do more than art. Your life shouldn't be one thing than that thing only. Please, God, please, if that's your life, please change it. Please make your life something else. For me, I do art. I program, I do photography, I play soccer. You are not me. Create your ideal life. And those things, it's hard for me to do it over and over. So the moment I stepped out, when I'm doing one of those things, I'm doing something different with my time. And if I'm doing one of it a lot, I try to find something new to do. Because I was born with nothing. I came on earth with nothing. Even if my family own mansions, I'm still nothing. And I'm going to die with nothing. I hope this resonates with you that time really matters. That dough is obnoxious. That's why I painted yellow. It makes you. When you walked in that door, time stops. Whenever you come home, time stops. You could do, when you come home, home is home is place of um, peace. Your home should be your peaceful place, your resting place. And the moment you step out, you are killing yourself. You are killing time. So make sure that time is worth it. And I started with talking about I don't know what to talk about when I started the video. I didn't know what to talk about, but I know that the idea behind this painting was time. And make sure today, the time you spend on here, change your life. Please, subscribe if you, love, if you like my artwork. I really appreciate the support. For those of y'all who really like my work and want to 
make me want to see me grow you can click the link below it's patreon and you can donate like a dollar or two a month whatever certify you so i can keep creating content like this i really appreciate you guys and thanks for watching the art show all right see y'all in the part two comment down below what you want me to talk about even though it's gonna be more about time but if it's the painting where you want me to change whatever feedback is really appreciated all right, thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. I said that twice. Yeah, stop the recording. Okay, okay, okay.